you two apps that you can use that it will help with your fluency. They're called Telegami and AutoRap. I'm going to show you Telegami first. And I'm actually going to go into my photos. And that's where you can save your Telegami to. And I'm going to show you a couple examples that I had done. And then I'll show you a couple examples from the kindergarten there this morning. Which was really cute. So you could use this for some kind of report. <coughs> Hello, Mrs. Gleason here standing on Mars. <laughs> and I would like to give you some facts about the red planet. Mars and Earth have approximately the same land mass. Mars is home to the tallest mountain in the solar system. Only 16 missions to Mars have been successful. Mars has the largest dust storms in the solar system. On Mars, the sun appears about half the size as it does on Earth. So in that example, I just took some facts off the internet, and I read them, and I practiced my poems. Oh, awesome. As I used expression, it looks like the person that you use your avatar <coughs> in your hands with your your expression. It's Scott. like telegraphic kind of. It really looks like you. Yeah, and you can choose your avatar. It won't cool. probably look quite as much like you because they're all adult choices. So you guys get to be an adult today. Yeah. 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 And then I'm going to show you one that I did. This is kind of the project that I do with the kindergartners. They put in themselves inside a book. And then they're going to read the book. And so this is the example that I showed them this morning. Hello, Mrs. Simon and Ms. Mangione's class. This is Mrs. Gleason, and I'm stuck inside the book of the giant jam sandwich. Here are a wasp buzzing all around me, and it's a bit scary. Let me read you the first part of the book. One hot summer in Itchin Down, four million wasps flew into town. So you can really, with this app, put yourself anywhere because you can choose the bathroom, which makes it really cool. I want to show you the kindergarten student that made one this morning. My name is Sophia and I'm stuck in this book. I like to go out. I like to get. I like to toss. I like to toss. Pass to get. I like to hop. I like to sit. I don't like to go in. And after a call, I like to go out. So. Maybe that's next time I'll see you. Bye bye. <laughs> and if you want to see me again, I'll see you. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you. So you get 30 seconds. And I'll show you where the timer is so you know if you want to cut yourself before the timer goes off because it does stop you mid word if <laughs> you go past the 30 seconds. So, what are some ways that you could use this app for fifth grade? Yes. Um, you could do like a report, like kind of just some facts. Yes, a report. Like you did. You could like, um, you could do, um, like if you wanted sometimes you could probably like do your writing prompts on the paper and then photograph into the app and yep. then read your writing prompt, like a little bit of it. That would be awesome, read your writing prop, and you could actually illustrate it. There's a place in the app to illustrate and not, you don't have to import a picture or take a picture. Maybe like if you're sick and um, <coughs> like your little brother wants to read to you, or you to read to you. And yeah, that would be great for home use as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you the app now. So I'm going to go to Telegami. <coughs> And the nice thing about Telegami is you do not have to have an account for this one to share. So we can share really easily. Once you go in, you're going to click the Create button. Since these iPads have not been used with Telegami, it's going to take you to a, tor to a tutorial. I'd like you to just keep, keep clicking Next, and it will get you to the point where I'm going to be next. I go. I'm going to click Create. And another student, another time when you come in, might have already used it before you. What you can do is you can click this reset button right up here, and it will bring it all back to the normal settings. And say yes. 
And this is how the app starts. You choose your character, the next one down from reset. Click on character, you can choose your gender. By just clicking on it, it will go back and forth. You can change your skin tone. Change your eye color. Your head, you can make it bigger. <laughs> and you just cycle through the sizes of the head in order to get back through. <laughs> choose your hair. So do you guys kind of get the picture? I yeah. can choose styles and clothes as well. Once you have your avatar how you want, in the upper left-hand corner now is the back arrow instead of reset. So you need to click back to get back to your other choices. You can choose an emotion for your character. Be happy, surprised, <laughs> scared, <laughs> silly. And then I'm going to click background. And this is where you can take a picture with the camera. So sorry, my iPad ran out of space during the lesson. So part of it is going to be a tutorial using this means. So I was explaining how to get a background. So I selected background. And then over here you can choose from camera, library, or this is where you can draw. If you choose camera, you would be taking a picture at the moment. Library is from your photo gallery. You can choose any picture that you have in your photo gallery. And then you can doodle. So if I wanted to have something circled, now you can always erase any of your doodles. You can change your brush color, make it thinner. And then again click the back arrow. And then you are ready to record. You click record. This is your countdown. Once you click record, you're going to see 30 seconds here, and it will count back to you. So as it's getting close, you might want to wrap up what you're saying. So you just start recording, and then when you're done, you click stop. It's going to analyze your voice. So you just start recording, and then when you're done, you... If you're good with it, then you're going to click the back arrow. And then it's time to share. <laughs> so if you yes. click the check, it will save it to your camera roll. And then from there, you can email it to Mrs. Lucy. And then if you click the email, it's just going to send the link to Mrs. Lucy. She still could watch it from her computer or iPad, but she won't actually have a copy of it. Also, if you make a bunch of these and you click the Save button, you guys could put string a bunch of them together in an iMovie, which would be really cool. Any questions about this app? All right, excellent. Now I'm going to show you auto wrap. And auto wrap is you're going to read fluently into this app, and then it's going to turn whatever you read into a wrap. <laughs> it's, it's really cool. You heard me do that? So, let's just try one. Does someone have a passage that I can read from a book? We'll just try right here. All right. I'll just pick any page. And I'm going to go to the Autorap app. Autorap, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. That's a wrap in itself. It's a wrap in itself? Autorap app. And the only one that we can choose that's free, and you can't really quite see probably from here, but it says free here. All the rest cost money, so we have to do turkey burgers wrap. So I touched on turkey burgers. And then I have to touch the red select button. And it says return your words. 
I'm going to touch talk instead, so that way you don't hear the music when we do this. So as soon as I press the red button, I can start reading, and then we will see what happens next. I'm sure you'll do fine, said Charlotte, looking at me. Let's just go to the library now, Jack called out, sounding really bored. Why is your hair so long, Julian said to me. He sounded like he was annoyed. I didn't know what to say, so I just shrugged. Can I ask you a question, he said. I shrugged again. Didn't he just ask me a question? What's the deal with your face? I mean, were you in a fire or something? Julian, that's so rude. Charlotte, I'm not being rude, said Julian. I'm just asking a question. Mr. Tushman said we could ask questions if we wanted to. I'm going to stop there. And the buttons down at the bottom that are moving around, that means it's rendering your graph. against someone else, yeah. is my guess. Now, I already have an account in here, so if I click share, it's going to let me share. I'm going to help Mrs. Lucy create an account while you guys are using the app. So when you get to the share button, we'll help you sign in. That way you can email it to Mrs. Lucy. Yes. The wrapping was really cool and annoying at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, we're all stuck with that same song, so you're going to have that beat in your mind by the end of the day. Alright, how many of you want to try these apps? Stand up if you want to. Alright, Any more questions? Yes. Um, I'll check it out first, and then once I check it out, then I'll let you know if you can try it. Any other questions? Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. Can you do either one? Yes. You're going to be able to get good with both of them. So you, that way you can use these throughout your rest of your school week here. The rest of the year. The rest of the year, not a week, because the week's almost over. <laughs> Practice seems to wait to see what happens. We wanna make our rap, we'll be working for the kiddo. We want to see what it is, I say, who is a who is a who is a practice seems to wait to see what happens. We wanna make our rap, we'll be working for the kiddo. We want to see what it is, I say, who is a who is a who is a practice seems to wait to see what happens. 